in this video i'll show you how to run independent sample t-test so when you can run independent sample t-test whenever you have metric data for your dv and then non-metric data for your iv and if your iv is having only two groups so in those cases you can use independent sample t-test so for this demonstration purpose i'm going to use a data set based on this paper so here i have a construct called work time rebalance which is measured using five items and then I have computed the average on the basis of those five items. Uh, now what I'm trying to do is I'm going to consider gender as one of the independent variable for this analysis. And I'm trying to check are there any mean differences with respect to their uh, uh, work family balance score on the basis of male and female category which is measured um, under the gender uh, variable. So this is what I'm trying to do now. So in order to do that you just open JASP and then you try to connect your data. So here is my data set. So if you look at this data set, I have gender. Gender is coded as one and two. And then uh, I have the overall score for this work family balance. So now the WFB will be acting as a DV and gender will be acting as IV. This is how I'm going to run the analysis. So now you go to open and then select the file. Go to t-test, independent sample t-test. So here you just drag your work family balance in the dependent variable and then gender in the grouping variable. Now as and when you are done with this on the right hand side you will be able to get the um, results. So you can also ask for uh, fx size Kogan's D value you can locate it. So here I am trying to do the two tailed test only. Uh, descriptives also you can ask. Descriptive plots you can ask. Uh, you can also do the normal to check equality of variances if you wish that can be done so based on the overall result uh, what i'm getting here is p value is 0 0.007 which means that there exists a mean difference with respect to male and female perception of work family balance even the kogan's d value is also really higher so which means that the fx size is also really good um, so this is what the mean uh, uh, this is for the test of normality and a test of equality of variances. Um, so here I have the descriptives for your uh, gender uh, variable that is male and female. So here I have mean for 5.119 for uh, one of the category of gender. For another category I have 4.612. So basically here I am trying to understand are there any mean differences. So here this 2 is coded as male. This 1 is coded as uh, female. So for female, I'm getting 5.119 as a mean value. For uh, another category, I'm getting 4.612 as a mean value. So this is what I'm trying to understand here. So with the uh, with the help of descriptive plots, easily you can understand which category mean is higher than the another category. For that purpose only, we are trying to use this descriptive plot. So this is how you can do the independent sample t test using ZASP software. So ZASP is one of the open source software. As you know that uh, this uh, Software is managed by University of Amsterdam. So for more details, you can also visit ZAS page in terms of getting more resources on ZAS software. Thank you.